I would like to tell you what we know about this event and give you an idea of what to expect in the future, perhaps. So, let's get started. First of all, some terms. You can't have a talk without defining things, at least not in my field. Meteoroid, meteor, meteorite. What's the difference? Well, there is a difference, though people use them interchangeably a lot. A meteoroid is a chunk of rock or ice out in space. It's about the size of a boulder or smaller. Now, some people ask, what's the difference between a meteoroid and an asteroid? It's all a question of size, okay? There is no dividing line. So, some people would say a rock a meter across, a yard and a half across is an asteroid. Others would say it's got to be about 10 meters or 10 yards across before it's an asteroid. I prefer thinking something bigger than a garage, which is 10 yards, is an asteroid. Something the size of a beach ball, that doesn't strike me as an asteroid. I would call that a meteoroid. So that's the difference. It's a question of size. But you will get a different answer depending on which scientist you talk to. So I'm giving you my opinion. There is no formal definition. Now, when that chunk of rock and ice out in space hits our atmosphere, it burns up. It ablates because they hit the atmosphere pretty fast. Most meteors move anywhere from 40 to 170,000 miles per hour, many times faster than the space shuttle hitting the atmosphere. So when they hit, they burn up, they leave that streak of light that you see as a shooting star or falling star. That streak of light is what we call a meteor. Okay, so the meteor is not the rock or the ice itself, it's the streak of light it produces when it burns up in the atmosphere. And finally, any piece of that meteoroid that makes it to the ground, we call it a meteorite. Okay, so a meteorite is something that has actually made it to the ground. And yes, the moon and Mars have meteorites on them too, so it's not specific to the Earth. So any piece of a meteoroid that survives atmospheric ablation and makes it to the ground is called a meteorite. Any questions on that? <coughs> so, Luther now knows the difference here. <laughs> he got hit whacked by a meteorite. Now, when it comes to meteors, there's a thing called a fireball, which is a bright meteor. Technically, a fireball is a meteor brighter than the planet Venus. That's a fireball. And a superbolide is something that's really bright. It will cast shadows on the ground. It's generally brighter than the full moon. Okay, these are rather rare. Superbolides don't happen very often. But when they do, they get a lot of attention if it's over land. So a fireball is a meteor brighter than Venus, and a superbolide is a meteor brighter than the full moon. What happened over Russia was most definitely a superbolide. So how does this work? In space, you've got a hunk of rock, a meteoroid. It hits the atmosphere. It burns up, or if it's bigger, it breaks apart into little pieces which burn up. And when it gets down to about 10 to 30 miles ab above the surface of the Earth, the atmosphere slows those things down so low they're no longer burning up and they stop emitting light. Okay? So you've got something blazing through the atmosphere, and if it gets deep enough down, the atmospheric drag slows it down to the point where they get below 3 miles a second and stop emitting light. At that point, they no longer are ablating. And we call from that on dark flight because we don't see them anymore. Okay, they're just dark chunks of rock and they fall and boom, if anything makes it to the ground, you have a meteorite. 